Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to this Randy stream with Randy. Actually, Randy's not speaking here, but we are going to be casting Strategy 3 with exhibition matches, all of which involve Randy. And we're going to be starting off with Randy versus Lowry on Tartarus, which is a map we've seen fairly frequently, and we will see it again now. We have Randy starting on the southwest side of the map. He is currently not going for any factory. He is relying entirely as a commander, more of a commander very quickly actually. While Lowry is going for Spider Factory, and in case you're wondering, this is on version 1243, so this is before the major commander nerf that came up fairly recently. I believe only the last game I'm casting the night actually has the major commander nerfs. This is going to be Recon Meta. Oh, Hovercraft Factory for Randy, by the way. This is going to be Recon Meta. This is not going to be anything too different from the 2v2 tournament. Anyone who watched the 2v2 tournament will know what I'm talking about. Anyone who hasn't, go watch the 2v2 tournament after this, because now's a bad time. Anyway, Lowry going for Spiders, Randy going for Hovercrafts, Randy coming in with one Scrubber, while Lowry sending a bunch of Fleas as normal. These Fleas, the thing with Fleas is that they are not units that are going to be dealing any damage. They're just going to be going around, seeing what's going on. They know that Randy's going for Hovercrafts. They know that, well, Lowry now knows where he, kind of where he can go. I mean, you can set these these fleas further up, but he's deciding to scatter this area because fleas are great when used for just keeping tabs on an area. That's really what they do best. And now at this point, we just have venoms coming in and venoms and redbacks. Lowry is switching over straight to that, not going for any more fleas. He is sending those fleas over to this hill, however, and the scrubber is not going to find them. They are well, they are well up the hill. Given that Randy is playing hovercrafts, there's no concern that you know it's going to go over this hill. So this isn't necessarily the best place for Lowry to be in terms of vision, but he can actually, he is going for a bit of harassment, or trying to. He is keeping some of the scrubbers busy at any rate. They have to kind of stay around here. I mean, Randy is vaguely aware of their existence. He knows the fleas are there, or knows that they were there at some point. He has radar. He can see what's going on. However, what he doesn't see is that Lowry is expanding pretty heavily around the back here. Taking his side of the map very aggressively, while Randy is pushing more towards the center. So Randy is... Actually, I should say he's the more aggressive one. Lowry is being more defensive, being more going territory that he knows he has. While Randy, on the other hand, he's starting to get scalpels pretty quickly, which is not surprising. You don't want to really get too close to Venoms. Redbacks aren't as big of a deal, but Venoms, if you get close to them, your units are stunned out. They can't do anything. So with Scrubbers, that can sort of work, but the thing is, Scrubber range, 220 range versus... Oh, come on. Give me a range here. Versus 240. So yeah, the Scrubbers lose the range war and thus just lose the fight. There's no way that... Basically, there's no way that Scrubbers can deal with this. Scalpels, on the other hand, have 450 range, so they have no problem dealing with this. And this Venom is about to go down. Almost the first casualty of the match, but not quite. However, that Venom is forced to retreat. Lowry can't be as forward as he would like to be. Not sure if he's going to go for... Well, he might either go for Fleas or go for Recluses. I mean, Fleas would give him ways of getting around those scalpels, and one of them would die, and then the rest of them would deal a ton of damage. But... Recluses would mash them for range. I would... Well, I see he's not really going for anything, so it's hard to really conjecture at this point. However, Redbacks and Venoms, against large numbers of scalpels, aren't going to do super great. They can sort of approach, but it's going to be fairly heavily attrition-focused at this point. This fight looks like it's going to be fairly heavily attrition-focused. Lowry is setting up some defenders right by... Sorry, Randy's saying defenders up by Lowry's base. Lowry needs to worry about this, but he's apparently not. Just realizing this is happening. In fact, Lowry, does he have radar? Lowry does have radar into the center of the map. Randy also has radar roughly around the same area covered, so both players are pretty well aware of what the other one's up to. Not fully aware of what's going on in the main base, but they are well aware of what's going on outside of that. Now, Lowry, on the other hand, setting up more defenders of his own. So, big defender war starting to go on here at the center of the map. And Randy, on the other hand, using this just as a cover to push forward with his scalpels. Lowry, on the other hand, is not pushing forward with anything right now. He is getting... He is getting more fleas. That is his tactic of choice. Mass flea, while Randy continuing to go for scalpels. Has not changed up anything yet. Pure scalpel. No scrubbers at all, just... Pure scalpel. And these defenders are covering the fleas very nicely. And the Fleas would be a great counter, except for the Defender's getting away. And the Fleas now going to show what they can do. Getting around away from Defender range. Or trying to. Not quite, though. 
And Redback... Is it, move it is moving to position. The Redback is going to die before it kills... No, it's going to kill that Scalpel first. Nicely done, but... Even then, this is going to be very tough. A lot of Scalpels coming here. Stinger finally set up to deal with all this. It will be able to get rid of a lot of these defenders. Too Ooh, nice shot there. We'll be able to get rid of most of these defenders. Clearing these out will give Fleas a great deal of room to maneuver and deal with the Scalpels. Or at least distract the Scalpels if nothing else. And... Wow. Pure defense wars. However, that defender is out of missiles, and these fleas move in to attack. They aren't dealing a huge amount of damage, but still, it is at least distracting the scalpels. It is, it's causing them to fire their weapons well in advance of when they need to. And now the Venoms can get close. Now the Venoms can stun out. Does lose one of them. Does lose the right back as well, so it didn't quite work quite as well as I'm sure Laude would have liked. And Randy can continue moving in, but now with all the defenders down, more fleas coming in to deal with this and doing what they can. And what they can is actually fairly impressive. Granted, the commander is still there, and that beam laser is going to deal with those fleas without too much issue, so there's not much to say about that. It looks like Randy... not worried. Randy is very confident he's going to be able to make this work. Still going mass scalpel, while Lowry's going for a mix of redbacks and fleas. Though it doesn't look like he has any venoms on hand. It's a little hard to say. Nope, he has no venoms. None whatsoever. Not hard to say at all. Very easy to find out. He is... Getting a bunch of defenders of his own as well to deal with... Okay, I'm not sure how the Wells is going to deal with Scalpels, honestly. 610 range... Okay, it could deal with Scalpels, no problem. However, the Fleas... Haven't quite got as much... Actually, have a bit of a chance. They are getting through the defenders. Not going for the Scalpels, but that's apparently fine. Just trying to hold back the defense lines. So yeah, War of Attrition. Very much defense wars here. We don't have a whole lot of army movement. Unusual for 0k, but then again, so is Spiders versus Hovercraft. Seriously, I don't think I've ever seen this matchup before. On this map or any other, it, it just doesn't happen. It's a very bizarre, rare, but certainly fascinating matchup to see. I mean, Lowry is... Looks like he's setting up Fleas for harassment. Going right into Randy's base just to push that in. Only a couple... Okay, one scrubber and one defender. These Fleas should be fine. And it looks like Lowry's setting up yet another Stinger, so... Lowry's got his fences nicely set up. The Scrubbers can sort of go in, or sorry, Scalpels can sort of go in, not sp not especially well. No Scrubbers, but Halberds, that's a good thing to go for. Halberds are not a bad idea at all. And the Fleas coming in here, the Halberd will be a problem for them. Fleas look like they're just going to try to get rid of what they can, which is what they should do. Getting rid of one of the defenders. This Metal Ace is the big prize, though. If he can get rid of this, that will actually make this somewhat worth it. But no, he cannot. This Halberds, well, the Scrubber actually stops it beforehand. And it gets repaired right away by the Caretakers. That does slow down hovercraft production. Not that I mean, hovercraft production is happening at the moment. On the other hand, though, Lowry is setting up... He's setting up a crab. Using that to distract to actually get one crab up and get another crab behind it. Against halberds? I don't know. It really comes down to whether or not the halberds are firing when the crabs are in position. Because both halberds and crabs do have their shielding, but the halberds are faster and are shielded when not attacking, while the crab is shielded when not moving. It's a very important distinction there. Albert's moving in, and they are going to be dealing with these defenders just harassing quite well, actually. Down goes one defender, down goes another defender, right before it is finished reloading, and down goes his metal extractor. Same time, though, the crab has started to fire, started to scare off the scalpels, get, getting one of them for free, basically. And getting rid of everything else. It's kind of range, by the way, so a little bit less than a defender. And these halberds are now just moving out. Randy getting them to deal with the rest of the solar collectors, the metal extractors. Distracting the Stinger, that would have been useful with follow-up, but it looks, doesn't look like there's any follow-up coming up. Maces are coming in, however, which will help against Fleas. Interesting choice against Crab. I don't see how it's really going to help too much. I think the Halberd really would work well for just distracting the Crab while the Scalpels deal a ton of damage to it. But Actually, the thing is, Crabs have 4,000 health. They have the armor, but they have 4,000 health. Scalpels deal 600 damage a shot, assuming both missiles hit. Which means, it would, this many scalpels is enough. He has enough scalpels here. These nine scalpels will be able to take care of a crab. But the crab, not being attacked, when it's in motion, I should say. When the crab is moving, the scalpels will be able to take care of it. Though it could sit down while the scalpels are in the process of firing, so it's not a terrible idea to retreat, but firing off some shots in the meantime might not be a bad idea. Randy has gone for an air, sw or air addition. No, full, full air switch. He's not even building any more hovercrafts. But at this point, Lowry is quickly to dealing with everything that exists right now. 
dealing with all this stuff here. He has two crabs, by the way, so he is able to get rid of, actually getting rid of a halberd as well, despite its armor. Dealing with a lot of damage, but the crab is coming up. Lowry is, if he's not aware of this air factory, he's definitely suspicious. No, he's well aware of it now. And the bomber's coming in here. One raven comes in, another raven comes down, but the crab is in position. Redback's doing with the can, but the crab is not moving. Nicely done there, Lowry. Just keeping the crab stationary while the bombers come at it. Very, very nice move. And gunships coming in as well. Tridents are being built up for Lowry. He is starting to push back. And he's pushing back well. Unless this crab gets up the hill, this air factory is doomed. The only hope this bombers have is to fire when the crab is not stationary, which is not likely to happen. Nope. Well, it's coming. It's cutting close, actually. Lowry is really cutting in close. But now at this point, the crab has gotten in range. It's firing the air factory and... The Air Factory only has a few shots left to go before it's completely down. The Redback acting as support, and the Trident's getting rid of these Ravens. Killing two of them, and the other three have to escape. That Air Factory is completely dead. At the same time, though, Randy going for a full-on assault. The Crab out here in the center is taking a lot of damage, but not actually managing to dish out a lot in return. And final Scalpel hit goes in. That Crab goes down. Like I said, one Scalpel Volley with, all the, with nine Scalpels would take care of one Crab. Three scalpel volleys will take care of an armored one even. Over, like I said, the air factory over here. Everything over here in the southeast has been destroyed, but everything to the Lowry center has also been killed off, and that means Lowry has no protection here in the northwest. These mexes are dead. They just don't know it yet. And Lowry's base is heavily threatened as well. However, the sheer number of defenders is definitely helping out. Another crab is incoming. These tridents won't do much good, and no further gunships are coming in, but this crab, that is where Lowry is focusing his resources. Gonna be another 10 seconds before it's done, but it's hard to say that this is gonna be very tough. These maces trying to do everything they can to get rid of the spider factory first, but it's too late. That crab is out. However, the crab can, is likely to damage its own base just as much as anything else. And the spider factory is going to go down. The scalpels will take it out in attacking the crab. In fact, they might just take it out regardless. They are going for the caretaker. Nice choice of target there. Getting rid of the caretaker, likely get rid of the spider factory afterwards. And the other crab, however, is in position and pushing out. But these scalpels getting rid of the wind generators, which does actually open up the crab to fire on them. The, op the space in the wind generators means the crab can actually get to them, and we'll be able to get rid of one of them? Probably another one pretty soon. But this spider factory is as good as dead. As soon as it's targeted directly, it's going down, and a lot of Lowry's economy is dropping as well. Randy right now, energy advantage, metal is even. This crab, the north, actually paying for itself pretty well. Paid for itself twice over, but gone down to a penetrator. About to say a stinger, but no, that's... This is a stinger on wheels, or rather hover treads. And it's got a fancy new model too, actually. I don't think I've ever... I, don't, I have not shown the penetrator with the new model. And if you think it looks like the Scorpion Halo, well, so does everyone else. Join the club. However, Lowry is going back to fleas. Going back to the classics of fleas. So flea crab together is an interesting combo. I have never really seen it much, honestly. It's not one that I think comes up a whole lot. It is one that seems pretty useful in this situation, though. The fleas would distract the scalpels while this crab just destroys them. And really, it's kind of hard to have more than that. You could have venoms, I suppose, but then that's time not spent building more fleas. And the fleas really are kind of suicide units in this context. However, more ravens coming in and... Razors in the center of that, I mean, Lowry really has enough defenses here. Between the defenders, the Razors, he's got... There's, like I said, a lot of defenses here. In fact, Randy's really low on defenses. All of his main defense line was destroyed by that crab as it plowed through the east side of the map. So right now, Randy only has these two defenders here, and that's it. Everything else belongs to Lowry. However, the Penetrator is coming in. We've got to try to deal with what it can. This crab needs to not be... Mo this kind of... Tricky for Lowry. This crab can't really move in. The penetrator has... It's about a thousand range. You know, it's a thousand twenty range. Which... Kind of demonstrates how... Difficult it is for the crab to get... Because the thing is, the crab only has about half that range. The crab has six hundred range. It takes... Full damage while moving. And the penetrator will just tear it apart... In two shots. If it's moving. So there's really no way for it to approach. The fleas, however, are the best option. They are going to distract the penetrator. Needs to be careful, though. A bunch of fleas are going to die in one shot. Although it looks like he got lucky with which was targeted. But no, he's just going to go pure flea. Just go over the flea attack. This should actually do the trick, but we'll see. 
Penetrator is moving back, and no, it does not. Too many scalpels in the way. The splash damage deals with the flea before it becomes a problem. However, at the same time, more fleas coming in. As our Black Dons, a bunch of Black Dons coming in as well to deal with all this. And the first Black Don, however, not doing especially well. Scalpels target air. I mean, they have homing missiles. They are really good against air. So it's not the best idea. The only downside is, of course, scalpels have a low rate of fire. So compared to Flails, the dedicated hover anti-air, they aren't the best option, but still, that's a good option. I mean, really, I, it's hard to argue with that. They are... Scalpels are definitely going to be powerful there. Very strong, at least alpha damage, and... Kind of has to beat that with the Black Dons. However, the Black Dawn can at least get half a shot off, probably. Against this many scalpels, it's going to be really tricky. At this point, the best option is probably... Well... Crabs take too much damage. Fleas are not a bad idea for distraction. And the Black Dawn is coming in over, and it's going to deal... Well, it gets rid of the Penetrator. That's a big blow. So the Crab can now pretty much move in with impunity. At least with that Penetrator gone. There are likely others... No further halberds are coming in, but no further penetrators in the looks of it. Now it would appear that penetrators are not being invested in only that one. And that one has been destroyed, so the Black Dawn at least did his job. More Black Dons are forthcoming, and currently two are in play. Same time the crab, there is one crab in place. One crab actually moving to the southeast to deal with these halberds. Is setting itself up, and we'll get rid of the quill first. Or, well, damage the quill. The quill will probably be moving pretty soon. No, it's not moving! And Lowry moving into position to deal with these scalpels. So Randy really has been on the front foot this entire time. There really has been no point in this game where Lowry has really had the initiative. He did do a good job harassing this southeast side, but he has been on the defensive this entire time. And being on the defensive in 0k is not usually a good idea. Shield balls can get, or shields can get rid of it. Sorry, get away with it because shield balls help them to push back. Spiders have a much harder time though. They're very harassment oriented. Admittedly, crabs do provide a good slow-moving pushback force, but for the most part, everything else is pretty much set up ambushes and work from there. Straight defense is very difficult for spiders to put up compared to other factories. Not impossible, obviously. As we've seen, it's actually been working pretty well, but it is difficult. Part of that being just the fact that there's so many defenses already in play. Part of it being that crabs. Lowry has crabs. And that's a really good thing for him. But it isn't something that is likely to save him the game because there are quite powerful counters to it. Like, once again, another Penetrator, which has come online. And Flails as well to get rid of the Black Dons. Mentioned those before, but yes, that is the direct counter. However, the Crab is... It's still in range. It, It's packed up, though. No, it is moving. It's going to be... Hit. It's going to be hit. That first hit's going to go in, and that Crab is going to be tanking most of that damage. Only taking 1,000 damage from that. Being that its armor is online, it has another five seconds or so to move in range. Penetrators have 20 second reload time. It's actually more like 10 seconds. And the crab is now in position, going to possibly deal with this penetrator. It's it can tank one more shot from the penetrator, or two more shots from the penetrator if closed up. But the scalpels are going to try to deal with it as best they can, and they are coming in, not quite able to deal with it. But the penetrator, once it fires again, will. And the crab will not be able to hit the penetrator in time unless Lowry decides to manually target it. And it's not going to. That, pen that crab is going down to the sheer number of scalpels coming in on it. That penetrator did not get killed by the crab. And he's going to try. Might try again with another Black Dawn here. And there's no flails. No, there's one flail. On, two flails, but they're out of position. And the penetrator goes down, ironically, to a stinger. Goes down to the stationary version of itself. As do many of the scalpels, but not the most cost effective. The thing is, crabs are really expensive. Like, crabs are 1600 metal each. Penetrators are comparably priced, but he hasn't even really been getting even trades on Penetrator for Crab. At this point, Randy really has been getting cost effective trades. Though Lowry, thanks to the Black Dons, does have a better army for cost, but the Flails are going to put an end to that very quickly. The Black Dons, however, are able to push back once again. The scalpels are out. Lowry, however, has lost so much as a result of. Randy's commander coming around near the back, and Randy's commander actually has been killed, by the way, but it barely was doing anything, honestly. It was coming around the back, it was dealing some damage, but it was not as central as the penetrator and crab, really. What it did was harass. What it did was push Lowry back, make sure that he didn't have all that much to 
work with, honestly. That's the big thing. Lowry has nothing to work with anymore. He has no energy in reserve. He's got 11 metal. 5 energy. In he's so little. He has not enough to power a single factory to full capacity. That's how little energy he has. Part of that being that he's going for wind generators and only a couple of them have guaranteed high income. And it looks like the wind is blowing his way. So he's starting to get more energy. And Flea's coming along the side. Some attempts to build up by Lowry in the southeast corner being eliminated by a raven and another air factory has been built for randy he is going for pure Va oh right they're shadows and vamps in this case rename hadn't happened by this patch well they are called ravens now and they are called hawks now too for the vamps fleas coming here these fleas are all gonna die but even with clever no even with clever micro these fleas are not gonna have much of a chance there are enough scalpel shots to get rid of them and the only hope really would be splash damage getting the fleas close enough to the the neighboring scalpel so that the missile hits and basically the scalpels start killing each other by accident. Yeah, Lowry, he's got one last stand going for him. That's really all he has. Weaver and another crab. I don't even know he's going to get a crab in time. I honestly doubt he's going to get a crab in time at this rate. And Randy reclaiming the center of the map. Randy has total map control. And I mean total map. He has map control over where Lowry has set himself up. I mean, Randy just has to go out and take it. But yeah, he, he's got... Randy has complete map control. I really don't think there's anything in the way. This crab is not even going to be enough to stand in the way. I mean, maybe with proper management, but honestly, one penetrator. And that would be this penetrator. This specific penetrator. Yeah, that's going to be it. That's that's going to be it. That's going to do it. There's really not much left to say there. That one penetrator is kind of... Well, it's the end of that crab. That crab will try and that crab will fail. And it's kind of unfortunate, because the crabs were interesting to watch. They were doing a good job, sort of. It's just... Not enough support, I think. It's really hard to push that without support. Lowry is trying to rebuild his economy, though. But even with that, it's becoming difficult. Black Dawn's trying to harass it to Randy's periphery, but Randy... At this point, can just take him out, no problem. The Hawks are in place, take him out, no problem. And admittedly, Randy... Lowry is focusing entirely on overdrive. That's the only reason he actually has the economy he does is overdrive. Massively overdriving this metal, metal extractor. There's... Well, we had... Yeah. Xanarch is pointing out there is a bit of a failure with the grid here. One wind generator here would do the trick to line up all these metal extractors and have them all overdrive each other based on all these wind generators, but that is not happening. Lowry does have a lot of energy as a result of this, though. Pushing... That's where he's getting all his metal from, his overdrive. And with the caretaker, he's actually getting quite a bit in. He is... He is not giving up, that's for sure. He is really not giving up. He does not know what Randy has, but... He's not gonna let that stop him. Actually, I don't think he knows. No, he does actually kinda know. He, he's got radar on there. He could very well know. But he doesn't seem to be aware of the fact that his grid is... Kinda... Not... There. Not completely there. Which is unfortunate, but I don't think that would save him at this point. It would help, though. I mean, if not caretakers, actually, it would probably help a lot. Admittedly, with the crabs, it would be difficult to work with. He is going for tarantulas to get rid of the hawks. I'm a bit surprised he isn't going for recluses at all. It's not terribly surprising since recluses don't have range to outrange scalpels, but it doesn't matter. Louder decides, you know what? Forget it. Yeah, this is over. Realizes he hasn't got much of a chance and throws in the towel. So that was the first game of the night. And I'll have a couple more for you coming up, so stay tuned, everyone.